So I've been working on some uh, some miniatures rules to use with AD and D. Uh, I call it uh, Quick Fantasy Battles. It's just a working title. Um, so I've, I've I've got a first draft of my rules done, and it's like a pre-alpha. I have I've not ever actually used it on a table. I've only you know worked it through in my mind. So today I want to run a couple of test. Uh, scenarios with it just to get the basics of scale and mechanics make sure it f works at all uh, and then I'll throw in some more um, uh, you know some more difficult and, and complicated uh, unit types and stuff like that but uh, so anyway so you're going to see the debut of this first pre-alpha playtest today on Greyhawk Ragnar. So just some brief preliminaries about what I'm calling Quick Fantasy Battles. It'll probably have some other name by the time I'm done. Um, it's designed to be four pages long so that you can print it out on one sheet of tabloid paper and fold it and you have all the rules. Uh, then there's another sheet of tables. Um, it's designed to be used with either miniatures, uh, 20, uh, either 15 or 25 slash 88 millimeter, uh, or there's also going to be a version that you can use counters. Um, and what I'm doing uh, for, the, for this play test is I've printed up a bunch of little mini counters for units. Um, and if I've got miniatures, for example, uh, like this one, uh, they're, not pr they're not finished being painted, obviously, uh, but they'll do for what my purpose is here today. So you might see a mix of counters and uh, miniatures, some not completed on the table. Um, the basics uh, of the system are really simple, obviously, because it's four pages long. Um, there are... Uh, uh, you know, basic units, uh, infantry, cavalry, uh, archers, you know, that, that kind of thing. Um, uh, there are, you can have different races, you know, so if you have uh, light elvish infantry, they'll have some special uh, adjustments and, uh, you know, heavy orcish infantry will have some other special things about them. Um, basically because this is really designed for a more low magic world, uh, there's not a ton of things. It's not like Word of the Things uh, or uh, uh, Triumph Fantasy, you know, where everything's magic and there's spells all over the place. It's a relatively low magic system, but I wanted to allow for magical creatures and spells and magic items and stuff like that. Um, it's very scenario-driven. Uh, there's not really going to be any uh, rules for creating, you know, uh, uh, tournaments and, and, and stuff like that. Uh, it, it's it's going eventually there will be a point system where you can buy units but that's about as far as I'm going to go with that uh, I have not done the point system yet um, you get a certain number of command points uh, every turn which lets you in, uh, activate units to move um, the units that you activate uh, can, if they are adjacent to each other you can move all those adjacent units together um, other than that we'll just kind of explore it as we go through as you see in play and here we go Okay, so we've got a very simple setup here. Uh, on each end of the table, there are six uh, light cavalry units. Um, light cavalry has a range of, um, let's see, 24 centimeters uh, if you're using 15 millimeter uh, figures, which I am. So, uh, arbitrarily, I'm going to say that the close side is going to go first. Um, and the first thing we do is the first command uh, phase. The first player rolls to determine how many command points uh, he are available in the turn. So you'll have at least one. You roll a d6, and that tells you how many you get. So he gets one. One command point. Uh, and different types of commanders will... Um, give you different type, uh, different numbers of command points. Um, as I flip through, uh, hmm. Monsters, elite troops, non-human troops. Ah, characters, here we go. Um, so, arbitrarily, again, I'm going to say there are uh, uh, lords on uh, either side as commanders. The... Uh, 
since I don't have uh, command troops uh, as figures, I'm going to be using I'm going to be using uh, these. So they have a commander. They have a commander. Uh, since they're lords, they get. Uh, a two command point bonus. So this side now has three command points. So if the idea is uh, for any unit that's in range, you can activate it to move uh, and any adjacent units. Now, since they're all adjacent now, that would only take one command point to move them all together. If you wanted to break them up, it would take one command point for each group of, of adjoining things. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to break these up into two. That would take. That's going to take two command points. They have a range of 24. So I'm going to measure 24. So front to front. Did it? Did it? Did it? These guys remain together, so they can be moved with the same command point. And these guys are going to break off a little. Did it? Did it. And did it. This guy came off his base. The thrills of having a, a live playtest unfolding before your eyes. Um, and the uh, mounted uh, leader, the mounted command uh, uh, stand, is also going to go um, to keep up so he remains within command uh, range and the mounted command has a movement allowance of 15 so pretty soon they're going to be out of range but for now they're good um, the range of the uh, com of the commander depends on what uh, his level he is a lord so he has a command range of but about eight centimeters. So any unit within eight centimeters, which is like here, so he, whoop, they're just out of command range. So they're going to pull back just a little bit so they can be activated next turn. Same with these guys. And you can see that even though the units are faster, uh, they're sort of limited by the speed of the commander. Uh, in a much larger scenario, obviously you would have multiple commanders who could go off in different directions with different groups of troops. Uh, I might want to, uh, I'm going to make a note, I might want to increase the command range because that's pretty low. Uh, okay, nothing can fight because nothing's in range. These guys are all armed with lances. So new uh, next turn, we got their command phase. They got three plus... Um, three for having a lord, I'm sorry, plus two for having a lord, so they have uh, five command points. It only takes one. Uh, first of all, the commander is going to go his 15, and these guys are all going to move together as a body, moving just up the 15 to keep pace with their commander. But they're all staying together so that they can all move with one single command point. And that's a turn because these can't fight these guys can't fight either. So next turn, turn two. Uh, we have first uh, we have uh, the first command. So these guys roll for command points. They get a roll of four plus two for the leader because he's a lord. So they get six command points if there were six units they could all move separately. These guys are going to move 15 so that they can they won't uh, outstrip their command their leader, the command stand. He's also moving 15, but he's behind troops. And these guys also move 15. Right. 
Now, no fire again because they don't have any missiles. So, you round. Uh, next turn, I should, uh, next phase, I should say. They get a roll of four plus two for the leader. They have six. They can move 18. They still can't move into, um, into range, but they're going to move up to meet the enemy here. They're only going to move that far. Except in this case, they're also going to split off into two to match the enemy. Leader moves up. All right. Again, no combat. Here we go for the next turn. There probably will be. He has a roll of six plus two for the leader. They have eight. Um, in theory, all th all six of these light cavalry units could move on their own because they have enough command points. They are not, however, going to do that. This guy is going to move thus. These guys are going to move up like that. These guys are all going to meet the enemy. And I know that they are well within their movement rate. And the leader is going to go off in this direction. And the reason I'm moving him that way, and then he's going to turn. Uh, the reason I'm moving the leader over there, um, these guys are going to be out of command range, so they won't be able to move. They'll still be able to fight. Um, but this way, uh, well, it's not going to matter one way or the other. So, uh, but uh, this way, these guys will be in uh, command range. Um, all right, so now we actually have combat. And the... Melee uh, is what we have. And here are my charts and tables. It's not a war game without charts and tables. I'm going to move the camera so that we get a little better view of what's going on here. Uh, so um, any unit that begins the melee phase in contact with an enemy unit is engaged in melee. Um, uh, the player who went first in the proceeding is okay, fine. Uh, for each unit in melee, roll 1d6 plus 1 for every point of melee strength the unit has. And subtract uh, 1 die for every melee point the enemy has. On a roll of a 5 or 6, a hit has occurred. Alright, so what that means is, uh, these guys are light cavalry. Light cavalry has a melee strength of 1. Uh, so they get one die just for attacking. They get another die for being light cavalry. The enemy unit that they're attacking is also light cavalry, so they subtract one. So they get one die. On a five or a six, the unit uh, has to make a morale check. So we're gonna. Uh, this guy is going to attack there. He misses. This guy and this guy are going to attack there. So two dice. One hit. And because he's on a flank, this guy is attacked on the flank. Um, da -da 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 -da. I'll get there in a second. I, I know there's. I, I'm, I'm exploring this for the first time, even though I wrote it. Uh, now let's go on this one. Uh, we'll go from the nearest over. So one attack misses. Next one misses. This one hits. So this guy needs to make a morale check, and this guy needs to make a morale check with a flank. So we'll do this one first. Uh, a unit that suffers a hit during the missile or melee phases must make a morale check. Um, it will either retreat, become broken, or be destroyed. Uh, it is possible to uh, make multiple morale checks in the same turn or the same phase. So to make a morale check, the player who owns, or owns the unit, so the, this player, is going to roll a d6 on a one, two, th on one or th one, two, or three. The unit is broken. On a four or five, it must retreat. Um, so let's see what ha what happens. 
Okay, on a four or five, it must retreat. Um, but you subtract one because this unit is being attacked on the flank. Um, because this unit caused the, uh, 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 th this unit has an enemy unit on its flank. So you subtract one, so that turns into a three. So this unit is broken. Um, and basically what uh, broken means is that they can't move. Uh, and if it is um, broken again, uh, then it is destroyed. Right. And then we make a morale check over here. So this unit is also broken. So we have, I'm going to need some sort of marker, uh, broken and broken. For now, these will do. So that will re remind me what's going on. Um, all right. Um, okay. All right, uh, th that was the melee phase for this. Now we have a command phase for this. Uh, we try to rally the broken units. Um, on a five or a six, it rallies. Um, and uh, you can use extra command points to give you a bonus on the uh, roll. This guy had eight. He only, uh, this guy has eight command points. Oh no, actually we, we roll for command points. So he has four command points. He can use, since he doesn't have to move anything, he can use the, uh, the four uh, command points to give bonuses to his rallies. And that's exactly what he's going to do. He's going to give two to that and two to that. So first we were rolled to rally this one during the command phase. Four, six, he's rallied. And this one. 2 plus 2 equals 4. He does not rally because you need a, a 5 or a 6 to rally. So that one remains broken. Now in this uh, command phase, he, since he used all of his command points to, re to help rally, he, doesn't, he can't move anything. So now we have melee. Um, the unit that is uh, broken cannot engage in melee. Just reading up real quick because now we're actually in here. Um, Alrighty. So, first, uh, this guy is going to attack this guy. And on a five or six, it hits, it does not. This guy's going to attack this guy. On a five or six, he hits, he misses. This guy attacks this guy. On a hit, he hits. And then this guy is going to attack this guy and misses. So now this guy has to make a morale check. He uh, he has a on a uh, on a roll of one to three it is broken. On a four or five it must retreat. So this guy has to retreat. Uh, when he retreats, he moves half of his normal movement rate and he can move through units. So Light Cavalry has a movement allowance of 24, so he's going to retreat 12. And this is where the number of command points really starts to become important, because as units become unadjacent to each other, now he's going to have to, the commander is going to have to use a command point to bring him back up. Uh, so it becomes, as you have units all over the board, you have to pick and choose now where your command points are going to be spent. So, new turn. We have a command phase again for this side. How many command points do you get? Three plus two for the Lord. He has five command points. He's going to use one to move him. And he's going to move back up. But he's going to move... Uh, 
adjacent to both of them. Um, and that is it. So he has used one command point. He can use the other uh, four command points to help rally troops if needed. Uh, now we don't have any missile fire. We uh, have melee. So this guy is going to attack this one, and this one's going to attack this one. So first this one. On a five or six he hits. One hit, and then the guy on the flag misses. This guy must make a morale check. Now this light cavalry unit is adjacent to two others. He could do one of two things. He could split his melee strength if, uh, if he had enough of it and attack both. He does not in this case. He only has a melee strength of one uh, because he's a light cavalry unit. So, or he can choose which one to attack. He's going to attack the one on the end here. On five or six, he misses. And then we have three going one, two, three. Roll five or six. Five middle one hits, and the one on the end hits um, on the uh, broken unit. So morale checks. Um, first of all, we get uh, this one has to make a morale check. All right. So this one has broken again. Um, Oh no! I, I take that back. Uh, you want uh, because you want you want to roll high, uh, so he rolled a two. Even though he's attacked on the flank and subtracts two uh, from the die, he has still rolled a four, um, and thus he do, he is not broken. He is broken on a one to three. He must retreat. However, he retreats half of his movement allowance, which is twelve. So he moves back there. Now, as for the one who uh, is broken and re and receives another morale check, um, the unit comes to morale check. Uh, uh, treatment. Uh, failing a morale check with the retreat or will be broken. Uh, if the unit that caused the morale check is broken. All right. So, uh, if he is, uh, we roll to see if he breaks again. Uh, he breaks on a uh, one to three. He is broken, and since he's already broken, he is removed from the game. He has been destroyed. So now we have a new turn. Now it is uh, the white uh, commander's turn. Roll for, we have a command phase, so how many command points does he get? He gets four plus two for being a lord. He has six command points. One command point is going to be used to move this guy um, up to here. He is still... And the uh, commander is going to move over using another command point, so he has four remaining. Uh, this way he's in... Uh, in command range of this guy. I really want to in increase the command range. Um, so, now we have a melee phase. Uh, now it's this guy is attacking this guy on the flank. So, uh, we have one attack here, and then we've got two guys attacking this guy. So, first the one attack on the flank. Misses. Remember, you have to roll a five or a six to hit. And then we've got two guys attacking the one guy. So, first this one. Misses, this one, misses, this one, misses, this one, hits. So this unit must make a morale check. On a one to three, it's broken. On a four or five, it is. Uh, it must retreat. So this guy retreats. He retreats 12 centimeters because he moves half of his movement rate. Now note, he is out of command range. He cannot receive a uh, command, uh, a movement command on the next turn. The, com the, the commander will have to move to a more central location, and that, then he's going to be out of range of at least some of his units. So the, this commander has a, has a decision to make. Where does he want to uh, concentrate his forces? Um, so that was uh, that. Now we have another 
movement, uh, another command phase for the yellow side. Four plus two for being a lord, six command points. Uh, one, he, he's going to remain, well, this is a, tr this is a tricky one. Um, because this guy's in, in contact with an enemy unit, he can't, uh, he can't move, he can't just leave. Um, neither can this guy. This guy can move, however. He is going to move He can, he can move up to 24 because he's like cavalry. So he's got a lot of movement, and as you can see with my thing, he could theoretically just wheel around and come around here, and that is exactly what he's going to do. Now, attacking from the flank doesn't have any penalties. It's just as if you were attacking normally. So this guy has two uh, attacking him. So. First, uh, well, let's just roll both. One hit, and because he's being attacked on the flank, he gets a minus uh, two from the uh, uh, from the, um, uh, the 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 breaking roll, the morale roll. So let's see. He he breaks on a one to three. So he rolled a four minus two because of the flank attack. He is broken. This guy has a choice. Uh, it does not require command points to attack, by the way, just to move. This guy uh, now has a choice. He's going to attack the uh, the guy here on the, uh, no, he's going to attack the gray one on the end there. He hits. This guy must make a morale check. He passes his morale check. He rolled a six. There's nothing on his flank or anything, so he he's fine. Uh, this guy is going to attack this guy. Misses. And this guy can't attack because he's only contacting on the corner. That doesn't count. You have to be at least part of one face has to be touching the face of another unit. Uh, and this guy obviously can't uh, because he's, uh, he's he's out of range of everything. So now it is the white player's turn. How many command points? Rolls a three, gets two for being a lord. That's five command points. He is going to use it use one command point to attack that unit on the flank. He's going to take uh, use another, uh, well, no, he can't move because he's already uh, in contact. That's right. Uh, but this guy can, uh, can go. He's turning his back on this guy, but it doesn't matter because this unit is out of command range of both of these guys, so he would have to move first, and then on the next turn, he would be able to move these guys, so he's got time to react. Um, so now we've got, uh, we'll, we'll, un, uh, we'll make a, a morale check on this one. So he only used one of his five points. So he's got a plus four bonus because he's gonna pour all the command points into that. This is, represents the commander uh, yelling encouragement uh, to the unit. So he rolls a four, it's essentially an eight. He makes his morale check, he is not broken anymore. Now we have the melee phase. Two units attacking this one. Two hits. Um, so this guy has to make two morale checks, one of which is at minus two. Um, so first we make one morale check, which he passes. Second, he makes another morale check at minus two, which is a three, he is broken. Had he missed both of those, he would be broken and then broken again, he would have been destroyed. We now have these two attacking this guy needs a five, uh, a, a five or six to hit. He has one hit. He makes a morale check. He rolls a one on his morale check. He is broken. We now have this guy. He has a choice. He can either attack the one on the flank or the one on his flank. Uh, he's going to attack the one whose flank he's attacking. He rolls a four. Does not hit because you don't need a five or six to hit. Um, so now it is Yellow's turn. Command points. He rolls a two, plus two for being a lord. He has four command points. Um, these guys don't really need to move at all. Uh, so he is going to move over here to put himself in command range of his units. I just want to make sure he's within the eight. Boink. 
Now he is. Now this is a pretty dangerous move because if this guy does get destroyed or this guy, then these units could theoretically attack the leader. And once you do that, um, you lose those bonus command points. So you're, it, it's not good at all. Um, so first of all, he's going to, uh, he, had, uh, he had four, he used one to move himself. He's going to put uh, two into this and one into that. For, uh, to b give bonuses to their morale che uh, to their morale checks, this guy will try to check morale. He has a uh, three. He needs a. Uh, the rally. Hold on a second. Um, One moment, I'm just looking something up here. All right, so uh, he's going to rally. Um, he rolled a three plus two, he rolled a five, so he is no, he is rallied and is no longer broken. This guy has a bonus of one from the command points. He did not rally, he is still broken. Now for combat, he can't attack because he's broken. Um, this guy can attack either one of these guys. He's going to attack the one on his flank. He rolled a three, does not hit, you need a five or six to hit. This guy can't attack. This guy is going to attack the one uh, on the flank. He also misses. Now it's the white player's turn. Command points. Six plus two for being a lord. He has eight command points and he doesn't really need them um, because everything is in combat. Uh, everything's adjacent to another unit. So there's no real movement and he has nothing that's broken that needs to be um, uh, uh, rallied. So we're just going to go for combat. Two guys attacking the one. Both miss because you need a five or six to hit. Two guys attacking this broken unit. One hit and a morale check. The morale check is a five. Uh, he does not have anybody on his uh, on his flank so he does not he, he, he makes this morale check even though he's still uh, broken. Uh, he is not, however, unbroken because this wasn't an attempt to rally. It wasn't, he wasn't trying to rally. This is a new attack on a broken unit. He made his, he made his saving throw. He made his morale check. So he is not uh, further degraded. And now we've got the, um, uh, the one guy attacking. He hits. Uh, the guy misses his morale check. Is broken. New roll, uh, new turn for the yellow. Yellow has five plus two for being a lord, seven command points. Um, he's going to order this guy to move and this guy to move, and then he's going to uh, uh, put the rest into this guy helping to rally. So this guy, he's going to put directly behind the enemy, and this is important because if the enemy uh, makes a morale check and is forced to retreat and can't, he's destroyed. Um, I just want to make sure I'm, I'm right about that. Uh, if it cannot move at least two centimeters, uh, then the unit is destroyed. So in this, in this particular case, if he uh, is forced to retreat, he's going to be destroyed because he's being attacked from both sides. Um, so he had, this guy is also going to attack because he, he, he can move now because he's within command range. So he's got five points he's going to pour into the uh, attempt to rally here. So I roll a two plus five is a seven, he rallies. He is no longer broken. Now for melee, this guy has three units attacking. Fives and sixes, so two hits. He has to make two morale checks. On a one to three, the unit is broken. On a four or five, it must retreat. Okay, it's broken, and he makes the other one. So, even with, even with three units attacking, he just got broken. Now we have this guy, he's going to attack the gray unit. He misses, because you need a four or a five. 
Um, and then the brown unit is going to attack that one, which is already broken. He misses. It is now... Uh, I'm sorry, uh, the one that was not broken. Um, we are now going to uh, go to the white player's turn. He gets five plus two for being lord. He gets seven. He is out of command range of this guy, so he can't uh, help him rally. He could, if he wanted to, move over, but I want to keep him in range of these units in order to uh, be able to move them if necessary. So, uh, this guy's broken, he can't attack. This guy is not broken and can attack and will. Misses. These two are going to attack that one light cavalry unit. One hit, two hits. So the light cavalry unit must make two morale checks. One to three, he is broken. And a four or uh, five, he is retreating. So he will retreat. He'll retreat the 12. And he is then broken. He retreats 12 and is broken. And then we've got this guy is going to attack the broken unit. He hits. He must make a morale check. Um, the morale check uh, fails. You need a five or a six. Uh, you need a five or a six. And the morale. Uh, uh, oh wait a minute. He must retreat. Um, the unit will move directly. Let me just see what, what I wrote when it comes to units retreating that are uh, already broken. Uh, if the unit is able to move at least two centimeters when unable, it moves as far as it can. Um, all right, this is a gap. I never said what happens if a unit that is broken needs to retreat. So I'm going to mark that down as something to address. Uh, in this case, I'm going to say that uh, because he is already broken, uh, any uh, failed morale check is destruction. So he gets taken off. All right, uh, it is now Yellow's turn. Um, this guy is in. Uh, command range, so he's going to attempt to rally uh, this guy with. Uh, oh, he has uh, one plus two. He has three command points. He's going to add both, all three of them to that. Five or six. He rallies. He misses. He's still uh, broken. Uh, we've got three guys attacking that one unit, which is broken. Two hits. It must now make two morale checks, so two fives or sixes. It misses, so it is destroyed. And as you can see, at the beginning, it's not a very bloody battle, but once things start to get disrupted and move away from things and you're running low on command points, units are, are uh, surrounded and broken, then it becomes very easy to start picking off entire units. Um, so that was uh, Brown's turn. Uh, this guy can attack him on the flank. Hits, he must make a morale check, and makes his morale check. Um, oh no, I'm sorry, on a uh, four or five it must retreat. So he's gonna retreat half of his movement. He retreats 12. It is now White's turn. He gets two plus two uh, command points. So he has four. Um, he's going to need. He's he's going to stay where he is because he's got to move all of these guys. Um, so he's got four. He can move these three units. Um, so now we have a choice here. 
because this guy's going to attack this guy on the flank. That's that's easy. As for what these two are going to do, I have a choice as the white commander. I could go over here and try to pick off this other um, light cavalry unit because it's already disrupted, um, and I've got I, I moved 24, so I've got more than enough movement points to circle around behind him and and uh, encircle. I could also do the same thing, however, to their commander. And if I do that, then um, it robs the uh, yellow player of the uh, the bonus two command points every turn for the rest of the game. Uh, strategically, that's the soundest thing to do. Um, so what I'm gonna so so I think that is indeed what my guy is gonna do. Um, so we now roll. Uh, for melee, this guy will attack that guy because they're adjacent. Misses. Uh, these two are going to attack the command, the commander. Both miss. And now this guy is going to attack that. He hits. Now he must make a, a morale check. He misses his morale check, so he is broken. Because he gets a... On top of just rolling a two, he gets a minus two because he's being attacked on the flank. It is now the yellow uh, turn. Despite the, even though he's in melee, the, he can still use his command points to uh, to do things. So he gets three uh, plus two is five command points. Uh, he's definitely going to um, wheel this guy to attack the, uh, him on the flank. He's also going to help in that attack. Uh, so that's two. He is then going to use three uh, command points to help rally this unit. So he rallies on a five or a six, but he gets plus two, so this counts as a six, so he's rallied. So uh, it is now yellow's turn for melee. Two units attacking this one. Both miss. This unit and the commander are going to attack this unit. Uh, commanders have a, uh, a combat factor, at least some of them do. Uh, in this case, he is mounted command, uh, so he has a melee strength of one. Um, so it's a... Uh, uh, we have a strength of one, but it, sta it, it subtracts the uh, light cavalry's strength of one, so it's, it's, it's a wash. So each one, uh, yeah, each one will uh, attack once. So one hit, he must make a morale check minus two because he's being attacked on the flank. So he rolls a three. Uh, he, the uh, that one guy is broken. Um, and that's uh, that's it for the uh, melee because he can't attack with this one because he's broken stuff, and he can't attempt to rally him because he's out of command range. Uh, but he can still rally on his own. He misses the rally, so he is still broken. White's turn rolls a four plus two for being a lord is six command points. He's going to um, is he within command range? He is out of command range of this guy, so he can't help with the uh, morale. Um, he is, however, within command range of this guy, I think. He is just outside, yeah. Um, so this guy has to make a morale check, five or six. This guy makes a morale check. Both miss the morale checks and remain um, broken. So, no, I, I am sorry, this guy is on the other side. I. I, it, getting a little confused myself. Um, so, melee, this guy is going to attack the guy on his own flank. Missing. Um, this guy is going to attack the uh, commander. Missing. And this guy is going to attack the uh, broken one on the flank and misses. So now it is Yellow's turn again. He gets four plus two for being a lord, six command points. He's within command uh, of this uh, of this unit, this unit is going to come here and attack him on the flank. Um, he gets to rally now, or attempt. He successfully rallies. 
Um, now we have melee. These two units on that one both miss. This unit and the commander on this broken unit. One hit. He must now rally. Uh, he must now make a morale check. He misses his morale check. He can't retreat. Uh, he, uh, he misses his morale check. Uh, he would have been broken again. He can't be broken twice. He's off the board. Um, this guy is going to attack. Hits. He must now make a morale check. He is broken. And now he's going to attack him. And misses. It is White's turn. Let's just take stock here. Uh, White has one, two, three units left. Uh, yellow has one, two, three, four, five units left. However, Yellow's commander is being attacked, so that's that's definitely something. Um, so it is now. Whose turn is it? I've completely I've completely lost track of whose turn it is. Oh, it is now uh, White's turn. So five plus two for being a lord, seven command points. Um, he's out of command range of. Of that guy, that guy is. Uh, these two are already in melee, so there's nothing really to do. He's out of range there, so we can't help the morale check. Uh, he makes a uh, morale check to see if he uh, rallies. He misses. Um, now we go to melee. Um, he can't attack. Uh, he can attack that one guy on his flank. He misses. This guy's going to attack him. Hits. This guy must make a morale check now. And is broke because he gets a minus two for being attacked on the flank. Is it now Yellow's turn again? Four plus two for being a lord, he gets six command points. Um, none of his units are in need of, well, this guy is, but he's out of command range. So uh, this guy is going to move over here. Uh, to engage the, uh, the rear of the, uh, of the enemy unit. So we have three units attacking this one broken unit. No hits. We have two units attacking this unbroken unit. No hits. And this guy is broken so he can't attack. It is now White's turn. White gets five plus two for being a lord. Seven command points. Um, nothing really to do. He's out of, main, he's not, uh, out of rally range. He can move himself if he wants to. Um, he can go there, so that next turn he'll be able to rally. Uh, his, he'll rally the guy. Uh, he rallies on his own with no bonuses and misses. He's still broken. Uh, Gray is going to attack him because we're now in melee phase. Hits and the uh, brown one must make a morale check. He gets a two. He is broken. Um, and then the brown one is going to attack the light brown one that's broken and misses. Yellow's turn. He gets one plus two for being a lord, three command points. Um, he is going to use them all to rally this guy, uh, to help rally. So he makes a, a, a rally check. He makes it successfully, so he is no longer broken. These two are in melee with that one, so they can hit. Two misses. These three units are in melee with that one broken unit. Two hits, so he must make two morale checks. He makes one, the other one would break him again, so he is now destroyed. Because you are broken on a one to three. And if you're broken while you're already broken, you're destroyed. Um, this one can't attack because he's broken. Now it is White's turn. White is in deep trouble. Um, in a regular campaign or a scenario, you'd probably want to um, try to run off the board at this point. <laughs> but this is just a test, so let's see. Um, so white gets one plus two for being a lord, three command points. Uh, nothing can move, nothing needs to be rallied, so he'll just attack that one. Missing, and this guy's going to attack again, and misses. Yellow. Um, this is going to be important because Yellow's got a lot of units he wants to move around uh, to hopefully snag the, uh, the commander. He gets six plus two. 
Uh, so these guys have a really high movement rate, so they're going to easily be able to go. Um, and the commander himself is going to join to, to take out that enemy commander. Um, melee, we've got two units attacking the gray. Two hits. He must make two morale checks. Misses them both, so he is destroyed. And he's destroyed because he got he missed one morale check by rolling a two. That makes him broken. He missed the second morale check rolling a one. That makes him destroyed. Because you, if you're already broken, you can't be broken twice. Now uh, we've got three units attacking the enemy leader. All three miss. No fives or sixes. Because you need a five or six to hit. Now it is White's turn. Let's see how many command points he gets. He gets five plus two. Doesn't matter, everything's in melee. Um, he's going to take a stab at killing the, the yellow commander. He hits. The commander must make himself a uh, morale check. He uh, rolls a five and must retreat. Uh, his, um, command, his movement allowance is 15, so he's going to have to retreat seven. That's half of his movement rate. So, the white commander got to lash out, um, and then white is going to attack this broken unit yet again. He hits, and the, the unit must make a morale check. He makes his morale check. On a one, two, or three, you're broken. On a four or five, you retreat. Um, so on a six, he makes his morale check, and that's good. I think that's something else I'm going to change. I'm going to make morale checks a little more merciful. Um, I'm going to make it one to two, you're broken, three to four, you retreat, five or six, you make it. Um, all right, new turn for uh, white. Oh, no, I'm sorry, for yellow. Yellow gets two, plus two for being lord, four command points. Um, let's see, he moves 24, this guy. So, yes, he's got more than enough movement. They're going to... Actually, he's going to go to this guy's aid, he's going to run around. That's two command points and three to move himself. So the white commander is completely in circle. And we get melee again, four hits on this one. One, two, three hits. He has to make three morale checks. So if, um, he is forced to retreat because he rolled a three. He can't retreat, so the white commander is taken off the board. And finally, we've got this guy. Uh, this one can attack, this one cannot, because he's still broken. He rolls a, a six, so he hits. And he must make a morale check. He rolls a five, so he must retreat, according to the current rules. And half of his movement is 12. And at this point, I'm going to call it, uh, there's one unit left. Um, I hope you found this uh, interesting, or, um, or at least uh, Ill uh, illustrative of the direction that I'm going with these rules. Uh, obviously this was a first ever on the table uh, <laughs> experiment uh, just to get some of the, the, the things working. I've noticed a bunch of things that I want to tweak in the rules for the next version, um, but I hope uh, this was uh, fun for you to, to see. You're, you're following the creative process along with me. I uh, hope you enjoyed this and uh, there will definitely be more to come. Um, this was the, uh, the, the simple cavalry skirmish out in the uh, steps. We'll see what happens next time uh, once I have a little chance to tweak things. So anyway, hope you liked it. Have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you all later. Thanks for watching today's video. Please remember to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Below you'll find links to my Patreon, which helps make these videos possible. You'll also find the web store where you can buy my books, and my blog where you'll find all sorts of free downloads and other articles. Thanks, and have a great day.